Hello everybody and thanks for checking out this video. Hope you're all taking good care of yourself uh, during this lockdown period. So when it was first launched, I was not able to pick it up from the actual LEGO store available in Malaysia. It was pretty much sold off on the day of release, so I bought it online through Shopee. So uh, earlier in the picture you saw the shipment uh, came in quite well, uh, but there was a little bit of a dent at the bottom of the box, so either somebody dropped it or put something heavy on it. The only downside I found was that the body which actually swings open to reveal the lab uh, was not as smooth as you can see the bottom pieces of the Lego would actually catch each other so making it a little bit difficult to open and close it. Uh, the other thing I still can't get around is uh, why Lego can't make panels with the stickers already on it rather than you putting the sticker on it because as you can see some of the alignment of my stickers were totally off. You can at a future point in time rebuild Kevin into Bob and the difference is Bob has a little bit more of a tropical ninja theme in terms of the interior of his uh, laboratory but apart from that the extra pieces which you see here I mean do keep them somewhere handy because uh, you'll need them if you're going to ever do the switch And here you go guys, the completed build next to the PlayStation 4 controller to give you a good idea of how big this set actually is. Here's a picture uh, for you guys to show you the other available sets uh, for this LEGO Minion series that they've launched. And I understand that this is not the usual video that I do on my channel. I do mainly travel but because of the lockdown it's not possible for me to upload new content so I'd really appreciate uh, if you guys could leave a comment or a feedback on what you think about this video that I've done and until next time take care and see you